okay so we'll just cut the surface the skin and try not to cut through the peritoneum which should be pretty easy Opa. Okay, so in case you need to do peritoneal lavage, well, you just inject here with a needle liquid and wash it out. And once you are done, you take, you pinch this layer of membrane and just cut through. This is the peritoneum. So now all the peritoneal organs are revealed. Open. And looking for momentum. So here is the liver which covers the is it clear enough? Covers the some of the gut, some pancreas, some stomach here. And you see a really thin, thin, thin line here, it's momentum. This very thin line. So now the whole thing will be how to differentiate it from the pancreas, which is much pinker and a much bigger tissue. You pull, try to pull, not, not, don't make it very tight. Here you see, I, I think it's, yeah, it's visible where is, where it's really ending the momentum and where starts the pancreas. If you pull, that separation is becoming more visible here and you can cut. Try not to chop in the pancreas because it contains all kinds of enzymes which might kill your cells. But anyway, if you do immunohistochemistry, I don't think it's such a big issue. Like when you do single cell suspension for fox. And here again, you pull, you pull. And you see this tissue, it's like an adipose tissue, much whiter than the pancreas, it's much pinker. Okay. this is all we got this is this is how big it is in a oops in a young mouse and this can grow up to five five to ten times bigger in high fat diet or in young I don't know these are naive mice yeah naive. so yeah I don't know what happens in tumor, tumor bearing mice okay that's all